gonna show you guys how I do my makeup. I did get a request to show how I did my makeup in my last video and I think that was a Rare Beauty review. So I'm gonna do that because that's typically like what I do every day. I don't have any hair clips. I need to buy them to put my hair back because I always get a little bit of foundation on my hair. I hate having my hair behind my ears. Like it's just not a vibe. Like, ew. Anyways. As y'all know, I'm going in with the Rare Beauty Foundation. Y'all know I love this shit and I love her lip souffles. So freaking good. So I'm just gonna go in. I already like did my moisturizer and stuff off camera. So that's why I'm not doing it right now. But I'm just gonna go in with the foundation right now. I have been waking up at like 3 p.m this entire week yeah it's really really bad i think this is like the first time i woke up before literally three in like two weeks also i don't have a mirror with me so if this turns out like shit i'm so sorry i'm just gonna use this like little eyeshadow palette mirror so I have to do this in front of my windowsill because it has like the best lighting. So this foundation does have like a decent amount of coverage. It's not like super super full coverage so I think I'm gonna have to go in again just a little bit right here because I am kind of breaking out right there. I don't know why but I am. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more in that area. Okay I'm gonna go in with some loose powder. I'm just using this Maybelline Fit Me one. It's pretty good. Um, don't really have much else to say about it. Where's my other beauty blender? Okay. I need my beer. Oh! I got eyeshadow all over my fucking finger. Okay. <sighs> this is so hard doing my makeup without like a mirror. Like just this little ass thing. Okay. I'm just gonna go with it under my eyes. Cause that's usually like right here and then under my eye just to set it and also because i get oily like right there i hate it i'm gonna put some on my forehead and then on my chin okay so i'm done with that i'm just gonna do my eyeliner now i'm gonna get like the smallish smallish the smallest brush i have so this little like elf one i think it's from elf but it's like super super little for my liner um where's my eyeliner oh there it is okay um this is for my waterline i always use this eyeliner it's the next wait the next retractable eyeliner in black of course always use it and i'm always buying it. oh shit so i have that out and then any black eyeshadow should work i'm just using this Lancome palette that i have it's so freaking old but I just use it for my liner, but anything will work. So this is gonna be kind of hard to film because like I said, I only have this little mirror and I feel like it's kind of hard to hold it and then do my liner at the same time. So if it comes out bad, I'm sorry in advance. I need to finish this cause it's getting cold, hold on. I'm gonna try not to block like the camera with this or something. Wait, maybe if I set it up on my, okay. I have some Q-tips already, so in case I mess up, but. I'm just gonna go in, of course, with just the black. And then I like to do it like straight out. I don't like it up, so. <gasps> I didn't even do my eyebrows. I don't really do them like crazy, but like I kind of like lightly fill them in, but I'll just do it later, I don't care. Oh my God, do I look like a hunchback? I'm sorry, I literally cannot talk when I do this. Like I'm just so concentrated on this. Okay, um, I don't know why I went like under my eye. I like don't ever do that, but for some reason I did that. Does it even look bad? Okay, it doesn't really look that bad. I might clean it up with the Q-tip though. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera just cause like, it's too hard to film this, but I feel like you get it, the idea of it. It's so freaking easy, especially with the eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna do the other eye and then I'll be back. Okay, so I think I'm finally done. I definitely had a lot more trouble than I usually do just cause like my setup here is not the best, but I think, wait, hold on. 
Okay, I think that they're even. I don't know. I just really hope it is because I don't care right now. It already took me like way longer than usual. So I'm going to go on with that NYX eyeliner I was talking about. And I'm just going to put it on my waterline and then the upper lash line. I really want to listen to music right now, but I don't want to get copyrighted. It's so freaking annoying. I hate this stupid copyright crap. I always want to do like the siren eye thingy. Like... But every time I do it, I feel like it looks so weird on me. Like, I feel like it's super hard to do the inner corner thingy. Sorry, there's a plane going by. Um, but I feel like it's really hard to do the inner corner one because I just always mess it up. Like, I don't know. Look how much of a difference that makes. I love it. So I just finished that. I'm gonna curl my lashes and put some mascara on. I used the Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Oh my god, I'm like so ready for fall. Like, I know it's still like summer, but like, I don't give a shit. Like, I'm ready for October. I just love Halloween. I love the vibes. I love fall. I'm way too excited for it this year. I feel like I'm, like, I've always loved like scary shit and whatnot, but like, I feel like I never got that excited over it until this year. I don't know why. I really just want to watch Tim Burton movies all day. And Chucky. I don't know why, but I love Chucky. It's like... One of my favorite movies, just because it's, like, stupid funny. Like, The Bride of Chucky and The Seed of Chucky, those are my favorites. Like, they're actually really funny. And then I love Jennifer Tilly in it. Like, oh my god, in Elvira. I love that movie. Oh my god, I need to watch it. Like, I just want to make cookies and watch scary movies all day. Sorry, my eyelashes are, like, flat as shit. So, like, I have to curl them for, like, 20 minutes each. I know you can, like, heat up the curler with, like, a blow dryer and all that crap, but, like, I'm too lazy. Like, I'm seriously not going to get up to do that right now. I'm just going to do this. Oh my god, wait. I need to put concealer under my eyes first before I do the mascara. Okay. So I'm going to use a Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I'm going to put it under my eyes. Oh my god, I got it on my finger. It is a little bit too light because it's my sister's, but I'm going to steal it from her right now because I don't have concealer. I'm only going to put like the tiniest amount just because it is really, really light. I'm just going to put like a dot. Like that's like nothing, but like I said, it's really freaking light. It just brightens it and makes it look a lot more cleaner. So do it on the other side. Oh my God. Sorry, I keep getting concealer on my freaking fingers. Oh my god, I want to make, like, a playlist video of my music. But to be honest, I feel like it wouldn't even do that good because I literally listen to shit nobody listens to. <laughs> like, I don't listen to, like, mainstream music. But I really want to make one of those videos because I feel like it'd be so fun. I'm gonna add the mascara on now. I'm surprised that I still have enough storage for this. Like, <sighs> Sorry, like, coffee makes me burp sometimes. I'm so gross. Okay. I don't like a lot of mascara because I don't like when my lashes look like <gasps> bro, chunky. And I don't know where my lash brush is. My situation's going. Oh my god, I hate that all the songs that I would like listen to are like blowing up on TikTok. Like kind of like that rock 90s, early 2007 music. Because I feel like people think I get it from TikTok, but I swear to God, I don't. Like, I've been listening to it this whole time. But of course, they have to get, like, popular on TikTok. And then people just think that you got the damn song from TikTok. Like, no. This is just so embarrassing. Like, I don't need people thinking that I get my music taste from TikTok. Oh my God, I literally go back to school September 3rd. And it's, like, already, what even is it? It's, like, August 20-something. I can't check because I'm recording on my phone. <sighs> I can't like I don't want to go back to school like literally I have like I'm gonna be a sophomore in college but like my first year it was not the vibe it's like three hours away from where I live and I have like no friends there so it was like really intimidating and stuff like that I go with my sister which kind of made it better but like obviously we're not majoring in, in the same thing so we don't take the same classes and whatnot um, but it was just 
a difficult year for me like it just was not how I pictured my college experience to be especially because like in the movies it's like fucking amazing partying every day every weekend like everything is easy like boys are all over you coming up to you like no it's nothing like that at all literally at all I was disheartened to find that out within the first week also I low-key be the only Latina in my class <laughs> majority of the time like I feel so uncomfortable sometimes I'm like, like my sister and I feel the same way. I grew up in a very like diverse environment and like my every school I went to was always like pretty diverse and it just feels like really, really weird sometimes being the only Hispanic in your class, but whatever. I just didn't really vibe with my college experience last year, which kind of sucks, but like at the end it got better, but like let's be honest that's a long time to be unhappy sorry i have everything in this bag so it's like really annoying to go through i hate it um i use the elf brow pencil i think this is like the darkest brown i don't know it doesn't say oh well but it's pretty good i like it and it was like three bucks oh my god i used that bleach eyebrows filter on tiktok why do I want to bleach my eyebrows? Like, please stop me. It actually doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. Like, I thought I would look crazy. Tell me why I look kind of good. I don't think I'd do it, though, just because it'll look like I got off the deep end or something. Like, some people look good in it, and, like, they, it looks, like, natural on them. But, like, to me, I feel like I just wouldn't look good. Especially because my hair is, like, super black. Or would that look even? No. I don't think it would. Let me not talk myself into bleaching my eyebrows because that is not gonna happen. Oh my god, imagine just- no, I'm not doing that. I'm already too self-conscious as it is, like, if I bleach my eyebrows, I'm gonna be like, what is everybody saying about me right now? Because it's like so out of the norm. Like, if I did that at my school, people would be like, mm. like, okay. She's going through it. That's more for like a midlife crisis, I think. Like, I don't want to do that right now, just cause like, I don't know. I kind of like my eyebrows like these. They're like so dark already. Oh yeah, I dyed my hair black. It was like dark brown. Honestly, it doesn't even look that different, but I dyed it black because I really am obsessed with black hair and I love like the dark kind of like, I just love dark hair, okay? I love it. Oh my god, I've been obsessed with this girl. I, is her name Naomi? Naomi? I don't know, but she does like these food videos. Like I just found her last night. I was up to like 5 a.m. watching her. But she does. Sorry, I'm going to cover the camera just because like I can't see. Um, She will eat like TikTok foods or like a show for like seven days. Or eat like mook, mook bongers, mook thing. I don't even want to say it eat like those people for a day or seven days and honestly like i love her videos like i like that she like shows what she how she made it and stuff like that like, it's just so interesting to watch to me just because like i love cooking and baking and whatnot so like i really like her videos i'm gonna do bronzer now and then blush i need to take my sister's bronzer because it's way better than mine okay i got it oh my god also you guys Look at how cute this is. Come on, like this is like the cutest necklace ever. I think it's Black Obsidian and it protects you from negative energy, I believe. And it's just so beautiful. Like black is my favorite color. And I saw this at this like little flower shop. And I was like, girl, I need it. I freaking need it. Like, how can you just walk past that and not buy it? that's crazy also i feel like there's like nothing like this like nobody has stuff like this i feel like and i just really wanted it because i felt like it would just it would suit me so well i needed it also another youtuber i've been loving is ricky i fucking love her videos so much like she's so freaking funny and entertaining i have never once skipped through her videos like sometimes i'll like watch a youtuber and i'll have to like skip a little bit sometimes because i'm just like yeah, yeah. But, like everything she says is so freaking funny i literally love her personality i feel like i haven't really been watching a lot of youtube lately like i only watch like jerry springer 
and Dr. Phil. Like, what the? I know. I know I'm going through it right now. But I love Jerry Springer, dude. Like, how can you not love Jerry Springer? That shit is so entertaining. Um, but yeah, I usually will just watch that every day. Because he uploads those clips every day to his channel, so I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna watch it. I really like Jerry Springer. I don't know why. I just like that crap. It's so embarrassing. Anybody else watch it, though? Like, please make me feel not alone in this. Like, my sister's like, why do you watch that crap? But, like, it's just entertaining. What the hell? I still can't believe some of that shit the people do on there. I'm just like, what? My boyfriend ever, my future boyfriend ever cheats on me. He better be putting me on Jerry Springer to announce that crap because that's the only way I'll forgive. Um, okay. I don't like to do that butt nose bullshit because every time I do it, it looks like crap on my nose. Like, my nose is so big. Like, right at that. Like, I have a bulbous ass nose right here. Like, I hate it. Oh, sorry. I'm using the Bare Minerals bronzer. I'm gonna put it, obviously, right there and some on my forehead. This e.l.f. blush, it's matte. I only do matte blushes. I hate shimmer on my face. I, like, absolutely hate it. Um, it's freaking amazing. I don't know the shade... It doesn't say on here, I think it was rose, but don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure because I've had this for a while now, so I just don't remember, but I really like that blush. I want to get Selena Gomez's blush so bad, but it was sold out when I went to Sephora and I checked online and it's like been sold out still and I want it in the shade Happy, but um, yeah, I obviously can't get it right now, so I'm going to stick with my e.l.f. blush. I do love me some blush. Like, I used to not wear blush. Like, I used to go out of my house just in bronzer. Like, let that shit sink in. Like, that is so gross. Like, I just cannot believe I used to wear only, like, bronzer and then, like, foundation. Like, I looked so, like, pale and then I just had, like, the bronzer on. Like, what? No. Like, the blush just makes a huge difference on your face. Like, it adds that color and liveliness to your face that... I freaking need so I just cannot believe I used to do that like I'll think about that and I'll be like what the fuck was I thinking it just didn't look good on me like I'm sure somebody looked good like that but not me not me I love blush on my nose not gonna lie that little sun-kissed look I hate highlighter I only put it on the tip of my nose and I use the Estrella shade in the Salvaje packet by Becky G. I don't even know if they sell that anymore, to be honest with you. I got it a long time ago. But I really love this shimmer for, like, my highlighter. Because it, like, it looks so good. Here I am going in with more bronzer. Yes. Um, I'm taking this NYX matte bronzer. It's in medium. I'm just going to add a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, like, oh my god. Um, because I feel like the other bronzer, it was like, it's good, but like, I need something else. I just wanted a little bit more, but I wanted to use this next one because I kind of like it. It's not my favorite. Like, I definitely want to buy a different bronzer, which is why I usually steal my sister's, but it's okay. It's not the best. Like, it's kind of orangey sometimes. Like, if you put too much, like, that's why I only put a little bit of it on. We're going to go in with more powder because... I don't like being oily at all. It's like the worst thing to me. Just a little bit here. Because I do have dry skin. So obviously like I don't want to go crazy on the powder. But I usually always do this just to make my makeup look more like put together. Like it just puts it together. Like at the end just putting a little bit of powder there. And then also like take some of the blush off that you put right there. So it makes it look a little bit better. And then it makes my nose look a little bit sharp. Y'all, I think I'm finally done with my hair. Oh my god, the lipstick. It's in my purse. So of course, I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty um, Lip Souffle and Fearless. It is my new favorite lip product. I love the color. I love the formula. It feels so good when you apply it. It's just all around perfect. And I really need to get more shades of this. 
I really want to try her um, lipsticks though. I wish I could just buy like everything that she has come out with. That would be a dream. Like I want her bronzer stick, a lot of her blushes, and then all of her like the new lipsticks that she just came out with. Like all the colors. They're like so perfect. This color is so freaking pretty. Like, what the It is the perfect fall lippy. Oh my god! Like, this pulls the whole look together. I don't know how a lip product can do that, but it does. Like, the color is, like, out of this world. Like, these are my favorite types of colors. And with my black hair, I need to straighten my hair because it got kind of bent because I had it behind my ears. I'm gonna straighten my hair and I'll be back and probably change my shirt because this is like my sleeping tea but I was too lazy to change all right so this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed the video I really hope it was easy to follow yeah this is my everyday look I'm definitely gonna be doing this when I go back to school because I have to have like liner on I literally feel naked without it I hope you guys again enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up if you have any makeup looks that you want me to try out definitely leave a comment below and i'll check it out and i'll see y'all in the next one